If you are facing CPU bottleneck on your PC and because of that you are also getting low FPS while you're playing games on your PC and lower performance out of your PC. So guys, today in this video I'm gonna show you a complete optimization guide for your any low-end PC or laptop you can use for fixing the CPU bottlenecking and GPU bottlenecking on your PC. So make sure to watch my this whole video if this is your first time here, please subscribe and with wasting any time, let's dive straight into it. So guys, in the very first step, the main reason of the CPU bottlenecking that is your power throttling. So guys, we need to disable the power throttling on your Windows. So for that, press Windows R together from your keyboard and this window pop up on your screen. You need to simply type here GP edit dot MSC and hit OK. Now go for computer configuration, administrative template, then go for system and then scroll down and there you will find our power management folder. So guys, here is our power management. Open up this folder, go for power throttling settings and there you will find our turn off power throttling. Double tap here and you enable the settings for disabling or turn off the power throttling of your windows. After that, hit apply and click OK. So guys, now the next step, you need to download these applications on your PC for fixing the button lagging of your PC. So guys, for that, you need to download this tool, open up the link from description and that will take you onto my this website where you will find out the same article of the CPU button lagging or you can simply search the same exact title of my YouTube video in the search bar and there you will find out the article for downloading the power control and process lesser on your PC. Now I'm going to show you how you can use this tool step by step. So the very first step, go for the power control and this will help you to creating a powerful power plan on our windows. So double tap here, hit yes, hit ok, click I agree, click next and simply install this application on your PC. After installation, here you will find this kind of the interface. Now go for CPU settings for power profile. So guys, before that you need to create a bit some high performance power plan on your power control. So for that you need to go for this option and click on the install and that will install the bit some high performance on your PC. After that, click on make activate and apply this power plan on your PC. Now go for parking and frequency scaling, turn off the settings and set this onto the 100%. If you have a laptop, so go for parking and frequency scaling, turn it off and set it onto the 100%. Now go for heterogeneous policy, set it onto the hetero parking and then set it onto the preferred performance processor for both settings. After that, hit apply and save the settings. Now go for a bit some high performance settings and check mark on all these boxes. After that, click OK and this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn your PC and help you to getting the maximum performance out of your CPU. So guys, now the next step here we go process lasso for our PC for applying the settings for our specific program in which we are facing the low FPS and CPU bottleneck. So for this guys, you need to double tap on this application, hit yes, click OK, click I agree, click next and install this tool on your PC. After installation, you need to go straight into this main option, then go for the active profile and set it on the bit some high performance. Once you select this on the power control, so you no need to adjust it from here. Now you need to go for this option, which is the Pro Balance Enable. Simply uncheck this box from here. Now again, go for Main and now check Mac on the Performance Mode Enable and enable the settings on your process lasso. After that, guys, now you need to launch your specific game in which you are facing the low FPS and CPU bottlenecking. Like for example, once you launch the Fortnite, Valorant, CSGO, whatever game in which you want to improve your FPS, now you need to go for the active processes and there you will find out the process of that specific game. You need to right click on that specific program, then go for CPU Purity, go for Always and set it onto the High. Again, go for that application, go for CPU Affinity, now go for Always and set it on your all the CPU scores. After that, go for memory priority, go for always and set it onto the above normal. Again, go for that application, go for power profile and set it onto the bit some high performance or the power plan which you have created using the power control. After that, again, right click on your exe file, go for more and set it onto the disable ideal saver. After doing all the settings in your process lasso, now close out it and this will also keep running in your background whenever you turn your PC. So guys, once you apply all the settings using this program, now I'm going to show you the settings for your system configurations. So for that, you need to press Windows R together from your keyboard and now type your MS config and press enter. Now go for this boot tab, go for advanced option and check mark on the number of processor and set it on the maximum number you have available on your PC. So click on the maximum number you have after that click OK, hit apply and click OK again. Now guys in the next step we are going to disable the high precision event timer on our windows. So for that right click on your start menu and go for device manager. Now scroll down and go for system devices and under there you will find out high precision event timer. Right click there and guys go for disable device. So I have already disabled that device so therefore it is showing me enable device option. But you need to disable this device for disabling the high precision event timer on your PC. Now guys, in the next step, we are going to set our windows on the high performance of our GPU. So for that, right click on your desktop, go for display settings. Now scroll down and go for graphic settings. 
There you will find out hardware accelerate GP scheduling. Simply turn on this option. Now scroll down, go for this browse option and add here your favorite game in which you want to fix the low FPS and CP bottlenecking issue. So once you add here your that specific game, go for that game, go for option and set that on the high performance. Then hit save and close out the settings. So guys, now the final and the last step, we are going to configure the best settings for our power plan. So for that, you need to go for your window search and search for power and sleep settings. Now go for advanced power settings. Now go for change plan settings and open up advanced settings for your power plan. After that, you need to scroll down and go for your Intel graphics. If you not have a dedicated GPU, click on this drop down and set it on the maximum performance. Now again, scroll down, go for processor power management. Click on this drop down, go for minimum processor state and set it on the 100%. After that, go for maximum processor state and also set this option on the 100%. After that, hit apply and click OK and close out your power plan settings. And now you need to one time restart your PC. Therefore, all the changes take effect. And after applying this, you can successfully fix the CPU button lacking and low FPS issue on your PC. So I hope so you love this video. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to my channel and till the next video. Peace out.